Hi again, my name is Sarah Collins and I'm a lecturer in musicology at UWA's Conservatorium of Music. This is the second video in a pair that gives a brief description of the style and context of Nina Simone's song, Young, Gifted and Black, for your ATAR music exam as one of your set works under the theme of identities. In the previous video, we discussed the context for the work in relation to the civil rights movement and black nationalism in the USA in the 1960s, as well as intersectional issues. In this second video, we'll discuss the textual and musical elements of the song that make it both a reflection of its context as well as an active agent of change within it. So first, the textual and musical elements. Three musical and textual elements that are importantly linked with the theme of identities include, one, the song's focus on hope and its mode of address, two, a distinctive rhythmic figure linked with certain lyrics, and three, the role of the bridge. So first, the song's theme of hope and its mode of address. One of the key aspects of Young, Gifted and Black is that it focuses on the hope of youth and the imperative to not define blackness as inherent struggle. Hence, the lyrics directed to black youth, there's a world waiting for you, this is a quest that's just begun. This mode of address is distinctive. The song is directed explicitly at a black audience. Indeed, in the live introduction to the song from 1969 that was included on the Black Gold album, Simone says that the song is not addressed to white people, but also not directed against them. Rather, quote, it simply ignores you, for my people need all the inspiration and love that they can get, end quote. They focus on hope and youth, and the mode of direct address at a black audience of listeners is quite distinctive in the context of protest songs, including Simone's 1963 song, Mississippi Goddamn, which we mentioned in the previous video. For example, the you in the lyrics of Young, Gifted and Black, There's a World Waiting for You, is very different from the you in Mississippi Goddamn, You don't have to live next to me, just give me my equality. The second musical and textual element to note is that there's a distinctive rhythmic figure that is repeated within each verse and punctuates certain key lyrics. This rhythmic figure, a minimum followed by four quavers, occurs three times in each verse. It is used for the lyrics to be young, gifted and black, as well as there's a world waiting for you and there are times when I look back. In the studio version of the song that appears on the album Black Gold, the rhythmic figure accompanies lyrics that are sung by more than one person, with the subsequent line sung solo by Simone, creating a call and response like gesture, foregrounding the collective aspect of the song's message being linked as it was to a social movement for change. Finally, the bridge, which appears before the final verse. It's only a few bars long in the studio version, but in the live version recorded at Morehouse College, Atlanta in 1969, and in other live stage versions, the bridge section is the moment that can cycle indefinitely, over which extemporised political commentary, stories, and interactions between the audience and the soloist can occur. The fact that this expandable moment for extemporization is hardwired into the structure of the song is a clue to how the song functioned to galvanise audience understanding and sympathy at live political fundraising and protest events. In other words, the political function of the song as an active part of a social movement, not merely a reflection of it, to inspire young black audiences to be proud and hopeful is right there in the structure of the piece. One, the mode of direct address to a black audience. Two, the rhythmic figure, which through the grouping of voices provides a call and response possibility, perfect for audience involvement and fostering a sense of collective identity and voice. And three, an expandable bridge offering space for additional political commentary appropriate to the context of the live political event at which it is performed. These types of elements were what made some of Nina Simone's songs a key part of recasting black activism at this time, including her song, Young, Gifted and Black.